Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 10 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on how to update your BIOS. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE DL380 Gen 10 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, let's hop in. Uh, this video is gonna be uh, specifically focused on how to update your BIOS. It's gonna be pretty straightforward as a whole. All you're gonna need is a USB drive. So what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, basically turn this into a bootable USB. We're gonna go to HPE support website. We're going to download the latest version of BIOS and then we're gonna show you step-by-step -step instructions on exactly how to update the BIOS. So let's just go ahead and hop into the good stuff. Hey guys, this has been with Cloud Ninjas and today I'm gonna be showing you how to update your BIOS. It'll be a pretty straightforward video, if not one of the easiest videos in the series. So if this is something that you need help with, just go ahead and follow the steps in this video and you'll be able to update your BIOS with no problem. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we wanna do is download the BIOS update file and then drag it onto a USB drive. This file is what we're gonna to use to actually update our BIOS. And once you have that moved onto a USB drive, you can go ahead and plug it into your server and then power it on. During post, we want to go ahead and press F9 so we can enter into System Utilities. Once we're inside of System Utilities, we want to scroll down and click on Embedded Applications. And inside of Embedded Applications, we want to click on Firmware Update. And then now we want to click on System ROM. Now we want to select Select Firmware File, then File Systems on Attached Media and then our media devices will be displayed. So we have one USB drive currently plugged in, as you can see right here. This is the USB drive that we downloaded our update file onto. So we wanna go ahead and click on our storage device. Now the last thing we want to do to get our update to start is scroll down and then click on Start Firmware Update. You'll get a dialog box just stating that the update will take a few minutes. We want to click on OK, and doing so will start our update. It will take a bit of time, so we will go ahead and fast forward and then pick back up once it's done. Once the update is complete, we will get a dialog box that says that the firmware update has been completed successfully, so we can click on OK. And there you have it. That's how you update your BIOS. As I said earlier in the video, it is not very difficult to do, it is very straightforward, and if you followed the steps that I showed in this video, then you would have no issue. If you did have any issues or you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. If you're looking to purchase any HPE servers, we have plenty of stock. If you're looking for anything else, whether it's Dell, Supermicro, IBM, and Cisco, we have that as well. If you're looking to purchase any individual server components, such as CPUs, memory, hard drives and solid state drives, RAID controllers, network cards, whatever you can think of, we got it. Send an email to sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Thanks for stopping by.